previous video, we've taken a look at the overall structure of the brain. At the end, we've also seen that the cerebrum is divided into different lobes. Yes, each hemisphere is divided into different lobes which are separated by smaller fissures and each lobe has specific areas dedicated to a particular function. That is the reason why a signal that enters the brain is directly transferred to the specific area in a lobe for processing. At this stage, we don't really need to look at the areas in each lobe, but what we can discuss is the functions of the lobes in general. The major lobes of brain include the frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, the occipital lobe and the temporal lobe. What are the roles of these different lobes? Let's talk about the frontal lobe first. You use your frontal lobe almost every day. When you are able to think, learn, grasp things, solve difficult problems, you should thank your frontal lobe. Additionally, it is also necessary for fluent speech. In a nutshell, your personality lives in the frontal lobe. Next, we come to the parietal lobe. It plays a very important role and has to be able to process sensory information within seconds. This lobe senses touch, pressure and pain and it also helps in movement and control of the five senses. And what about the occipital lobe? When you are able to see a beautiful sight of sunrise or sunset, the stars in the clear night sky or even the bright and the beautiful blossom on the tree, you should thank the occipital lobe as that takes care of visual processing and color recognition. Lastly, Oh, did you hear that sound? Well, that is because of your temporal lobe is performing its activities appropriately. It is associated with recognition and interpretation of sound and smell. It helps us understand speech. You wouldn't have been able to comprehend what's being said in this video if there was something wrong with your temporal lobe. It is also responsible for visual and verbal memory. All these lobes perform their duty sincerely enough to give quick and efficient responses. Well, this was a brief overview of the human brain. Now we need to know how this extremely important asset fits in and is protected in the skull. Let's have a look at the structure of the various protective layers around the brain in the upcoming video.